saving lives takes precision teamwork and quick thinking under pressure, especially when tragedy strikes miles away from a trauma center. This story is not a recreation. It's the reality of riding along with the medical crew of Metro Life Flight, based in Cleveland, Ohio. Nice contest for the lead is Bonk on the inside. July 28, 1990. The Lorraine County Speedway in Amherst, Ohio, was hosting an amateur stock car race. Something has gone terribly wrong. The red flag is out. We understand an automobile has gone over into the pit. At 9.24 p.m., a call goes out for air ambulances. Alert 4 to Seacom. Do you copy? Alert 4 to Seacom. We copy loud and clear. flight helicopters are immediately dispatched to the scene. Flight nurse Chris Minacci is on the first helicopter that arrives. We knew that we had uh, several who were critically injured. Um, one who was in a traumatic full arrest. His injuries were quite extensive, uh, non-repairable, had no sign of uh, life at all. So we needed to make the decision um, and realize that this person was no longer viable. Uh, that's not an easy um, decision to make. The second victim is Bill Jordan, a 31-year-old race car mechanic who headed up the pit crew. Bill has sustained critical injuries to his back, leg, and abdomen. The man pronounced dead at the scene was his brother-in-law and a member of his crew. 14-year-old Jack Harris had been watching the race with his brother when the car went out of control. Three other people less seriously hurt in the accident are taken away by ambulance, while Bill and Jack are airlifted to the trauma unit at Metro Health Medical Center. This is a 15-year-old, his name is 14-year-old Jack is suffering from head trauma. In his confusion, he gives his brother's name, Michael, as his own. The only thing I've seen on secondary exam is abrasion on his left forehead. The made of his exam looks negative. Michael. Jack is examined by Dr. David Efron. Our initial evaluation showed he had a multitude of bruises, abrasions on his body. Michael, just relax, okay? Do you remember what you were doing tonight? His vital signs were stable. However, internal injuries can be more dangerous in these patients. Dr. Ephraim then turns his attention to mechanic Bill Jordan. In evaluating the second patient, uh, he had a very tender abdomen, suggestive of intra-abdominal type of injury, whether it's a spleen, liver, etc. Bill, I'm going to just shave your belly a little bit, okay? Just like I told you, we're going to put that catheter in. Oh! Trauma team leader Dr. Daniel Borison is concerned about the buildup of blood in Bill's abdomen. Okay. Your body looks pretty bad there, huh? I think I need to take a look in the operating room, all right? You're going to be okay, though. Okay. I'm going to stop touching you. Good, Bill. Maybe it's just leakage from that hematoma here. Chief trauma surgeon David Jacobs repairs a tear in Bill's liver. He has, um... Big blood clot here uh, in the region of his right kidney. His right kidney appears to be badly bruised, or what we call contused. But we got an x-ray in here while he was asleep to show that the kidney is working. And so even if it's badly bruised, as long as it's working on x-ray, we don't fool it. Because we know if we do that, we'll probably end up losing the kidney altogether. He's also got a leak. 14-year-old Jack is given a CAT scan to determine the extent of his head injuries. Oh! Well, this looks like it could be some blood in one of his ventricles. So. 
Yeah, it looks yeah. like he does on the left. Where's uh, Mr. Harris? Here. Hi. Here's you know Mom? Yeah. Yes. Okay, I'm one of the people in charge of the emergency room downtown, downstairs. Um, you already saw your son's doing okay. He's got a couple little bruises on his back. The other thing we were concerned about, we did an x-ray of his head, CAT scan of his head, and he seems to have a little bit of blood in one of the ventricular systems. Okay. Um, we were scared. It really makes us appreciate our sons. And uh, to realize just how valuable life is right, right now. Right now, we're probably just going to watch that. I mean, it's a serious injury, but it's nothing that he needs to go to the operating room for. He needs to stay in the hospital and be watched for several days. Uh, I can't tell you whether it's going to be two days or a week. Uh, it depends upon how he does and assuming that he continues to improve. Okay, folks? Okay. Okay. Thanks. All right. Hope he does all right. All right. Take care now. A week has gone by. 14-year-old Jack Harris is back with his family. Thank God, right? It's a relief, huh? Yeah, what a difference seven days makes. <laughs> Jack's brother, Kim, had his hip dislocated in the raceway accident, but both are expected to fully recover. I feel very grateful for the people that saved me. I just feel that I'm lucky to be alive. So you're not afraid of going back into the racetrack again, uh -huh. right? No. No. Nah, it doesn't worry me any. Worries me. You lose any strength in your grip, up to half. As mechanic Bill Jordan slowly recovers from his injuries, his father, Bill Sr., stays at his bedside. You don't know how short your life is here. Excuse me if I get emotional here, but I think since he's been here. We've said, I love you to each other more than I have in his whole life. Oh, this is the first, the first money maker of the whole car. Was it $25? Yeah. It's been two months. Bill Jordan is back home, but for him, recuperation is a slow and painful process. If I sit in one place for too long and my back starts to hurt, if I walk around too much, my back starts to hurt. It's not fun yet. Worst part about the whole thing is um, losing my brother-in-law. I don't think it was fair. Take it apart. Bill hopes to return to the racetrack soon to head up a pit crew again. So I know he's done a lot of things, but having him is the main thing. That's what counts. <laughs> I know that. If it wasn't for Life Flight being at, at the racetrack that night, uh, he would have been with my son-in-law. He would have never been able to survive the ambulance ride. I think these men and women are definitely heroes. I know that for a fact.